If you ever looked at the layers panel while having guides placed in your artboard, you might have noticed that they are listed there, as if they were just another object, like, you know, text, shapes or images. And in fact, yeah, that's pretty much it. Guides work in a funny way in Illustrator, because they basically are regular objects, like a square or a circle you might draw, but they obey a few specific rules. You might have never thought about trying this, because we usually just drag and drop the guides and that's it, you have your guides going across the entire document. But if you zoom far enough and you move the guide, you can see where it ends. You can scale it, you can rotate it, and you can even add anchor points to it. I literally dropped my jaw when I figured this out. You can add anchor points to a guide and then change its shape using the direct selection, just like any other path in Illustrator. Ain't that just bonkers? But unlike all other objects, they don't accept fills, strokes or effects, anything that would visually appear in the artboard. They even show up in the appearance panel, but they will never be displayed in the artboard. It's like they have an attribute saying, hey, this is a guide, ignore any other visual property while this object is marked as a guide. But now, check this out. If you right-click with a guide selected, you get the option to release the guide, basically getting rid of that this is a guide attribute. And all of a sudden, everything you added to the appearance panel will become visible. Not that this is particularly useful, but it tells us some things about how guides work. Even cooler than that, though, is that you can make this process the other way around as well. You can right-click on absolutely any path in Illustrator and turn it into a guide. If you ever wished you could have circular guides, this is your moment. You'll never again be constrained by the limitations of straight guides dragged from the ruler. And a bonus tip, just because, you know, I love bonus tips. Here are a few shortcuts to working with guides and the ruler, just because shortcuts are awesome and also your best friends. This short video has ended now and I hope you learned something new. Thank you for watching and have a great day! Bye!